Hey folks, this is Kwabana with Oven and V, and today I'm going to be talking about how we've made some performance improvements to all of our uh, geometric image transforms. Uh, so first I'm going to talk about lens correction. We recently um, added some performance improvements to this algorithm and drastically improved its uh, performance. So right now, um, lens correction for Open MV Cam gets about, um, you know, maybe 50 FPS with QVGA and um, with QQVGA, about 20 FPS FPS of QQVGA and um, you know these have been decent frame rates but uh, still don't let you use this algorithm easily um, with other algorithms in the background and so we recently improved the performance of lens correction and now have it running much faster um, and so with our new code base, lens correction now on QVGA hits uh, 40 FPS. Um, and on QQVGA hits uh, up to 70 or uh, above FPS, 75. Um, what this means is that this feature no longer is a blocker for you using the uh, algorithm with another algorithm to actually uh, you know, improve the uh, lens quality. The way we did this is uh, we identified that you can um, that the uh, the four regions of the image that are being corrected are uh, um, similar and that we can actually process four pixels at a time um, instead of one pixel at a time which allows us to you know really boost the algorithm performance um, anyway so lens correction if you don't know about it um, what it lets you do is undo uh, you know lens warp issues so if we have a particular uh, lens that like applies some curves to an image um, we can undo those so for example if uh, we have an image that, uh, you know, the line here, for example, is a little bit curved on my, on my ceiling there. And so if we um, use lens correction, we can kind of undo that slightly, and this will make that line straight. And so this is a useful algorithm for getting rid of uh, lens issues when you're using OpenMV Cam. Additionally, you can adjust the zoom level on um, this algorithm to uh, kind of see you know what it's doing so for example the algorithm is actually kind of pulling at the edges of the image and stretching them out and so if we like bump this up to 2.8 in terms of strength you can see really like how it's grabbing the edge of the image and uh, pulling it out um, yep anyway so that's uh, lens correction it's now much faster and more usable on the open MV cam and as you can see if I um, if I set that strength too high the image actually becomes warped in the opposite direction so you have to be careful on you know exactly how you use that algorithm. Cool. Um, in addition to lens correction, we also have uh, another feature called perspective correction. Um, for, first, before we talk about that, just um, to note, uh, we have uh, rotation correction, which has always been on the OpenMV Cam. And so this allows your OpenMV Cam to kind of uh, basically adjust an image displayed um, and rotate that image in 3D space. Um, this is more just fun to have and it can be useful for you to dynamically fix uh, how an image is uh, placed um, in response to slight uh, rotations and translation deviations um, with the camera. Um, but more or less, it just lets you um, kind of rotate an image in 3D space in the frame buffer, which is just fun. Um, anyway, so we actually added a new useful feature to this though, which lets you do perspective correction. Um, and so with perspective correction, you can really uh, undo problems with uh, how the OpenMV cam sees the world and fix things um, and let your robot uh, kind of see uh, an, a scene how it needs to see it. So let's imagine we're looking at my oscilloscope. And let's say we want to reproject that oscilloscope screen to be the entire image buffer. So what you can do now is you can just select a few points outside that guy and we're just gonna write these down. And so what this algorithm will do is reproject the image um, from the points that we give it. The points need to be in clockwise order. Um, and it'll let us, uh, it'll let us uh, see that reprojected image as the whole frame buffer. This is incredibly useful if you have your OpenMV cam mounted in a way um, where you wanna see some detail, but the camera can't be mounted to see that detail um, from a top-down view or a straight-on view. An example would be, let's say you have a line-following robot and you want to um, get a top-down projection of the, uh, of the line itself and the robot is pointed at an angle. Um, using this algorithm, you can actually reproject the uh, ground um, in a way that looks flat. And so, for example, I just plug in those four points 
and boom now we have the frame buffer reprojected and the oscilloscope screen now is more or less in the uh, entire field of view. And then you can adjust, adjust these points as necessary um, to kind of clean up how that looks so that you can get it you know, entirely straight. Um, yeah, uh, and so the benefit of this uh, technology, this uh, algorithm again, is um, you can just really fix any perspective um, issues you have. And you can combine this now with uh, lens correction too to kind of undo lens um, warping issues. Additionally, you can also combine rotation correction with the uh, perspective correction and run these both at the same time. So if we just put that in there and grab this guy, we can run both of these algorithms at the same time. And this is just fun. So we can see the camera still looking at the oscilloscope and we can see that particular part of the field of view is now being rotated in 3D space as we're still staring at it. Awesome. Uh, finally, we have uh, two other algorithms called uh, linear polar correction and log polar correction. So linear polar and log polar, and let's start with linear polar first. Uh, so the linear polar algorithm uh, we've had in OpenMVCAM for a while. We finally got around to updating it also and increasing its performance. So it used to be rather slow. Um, and we took the uh, same kind of uh, symmetric pixel um, uh, speed up uh, trick we could do with the lens correction algorithm and applied it to um, the linear polar algorithm. And so this algorithm now processes two pixels at once um, for the left half of the image and the right half of the image at the same time, which allowed us to double the performance. So we're getting uh, 56 FPS now with QVGA. And so linear polar is an algorithm that reprojects the uh, frame buffer in a way where um, if you were staring at, if you had like a, a mirror um, on top of the open and become a radial, um, a, a radial uh, mirror that was kind of letting the open envy cam see a view of its entire surroundings in one go. This is the algorithm that you would use to then uh, undo that perspective, uh, to undo that projection. And it would make the image then look uh, linear uh, to look like normal, but with a 360 degree field of view. And so linear polar is useful for that. We also use this algorithm internally for phase correlation to uh, detect um, rotation and zoom differences. Um, linear polar, you also have the log polar algorithm, which is uh, a little bit more fun. This is for, uh, main, this is also used for uh, phase correlation. Um, in particular, linear polar doesn't handle, uh, zooms aren't a pure translation versus in log polar though, um, zooming is a translation in the Y direction, more or less. Um, anyway, so both of these algorithms now are much faster thanks to the optimizations we put in. We also uh, fixed a few of the pixel defect issues and got everything uh, very uh, clean with exactly where a pixel should appear. Finally, you also have the, uh, you can also invert these algorithms to go in the opposite direction. And these, uh, the, the performance for this particular path has been improved too. Um, so linear polar can be done in the reverse direction um, so that you can kind of undo the perspective uh, distortion if you want. Um, if you have a lens of a, you know, that kind of projects the image in the wrong in, in, in another way around. And this can, we also have a log polar reverse too. Um, so you can do that. And so if you just want to have some trippy uh, images that look like you were uh, on some drugs, uh, these, you know, particularly um, log polar uh, reverse is perfect for that. Um, love to see any videos anyone posts about how they can make this whole thing go trippy. So as you can see my face there, it looks uh, really fun. And anyway, as you move the image around, it kind of, things just kind of suck in and out like you're in uh, hyperspace. Awesome. Um, and so you can actually chain these two uh, algorithms right back to back. So if I do, you know, log polar right after, for example, um, we can actually prove that these things actually are invertible. So if I do log polar forward and then log polar back, as you can see, the algorithms are actually able to undo the effects of one another. Um, of course, some pixels will get destroyed while you do that, but you can more or less undo these. Um, th these algorithms do uh, are, are, are um, well designed in a way that you know there's not too many artifacts when you try to undo them. Um, cool. Anyway, so those are all of our geometric image transform algorithms. 
And um, yeah, we hope that the new speed on these guys will make them usable for you and that you'll be able to uh, do some fun stuff with the OpenMV Cam H7. Um, anyway, yeah. So thank you all for watching and enjoy the psychedelic trippy video fun that you can now play around with if you're OpenMV Cam. Cool. All right. Bye-bye.